Vegetable preparation should normally occur in the small vegetable preparation room immediately behind the door shown. But warm weather often tempts the mess cooks outside. This type galley is typical in destroyers and is adequate for food preparation. Its location topside improves ventilation conditions but requires carrying food 63 feet forward along the weather deck, thence down two decks. Normally the mess line forms topside. In inclement weather it forms inside, causing serious congestion of passageways and ladders. Men average 20 minutes waiting in line and 15 minutes in eating meals. After descending two decks, the men enter the cafeteria-style serving line. In softly, an average meal consists of a meat, two vegetables, soup, dessert, and coffee or a cold drink. Equipment limitations prevent any optional items, and quantity control of the meat and dessert items must be maintained. Food quality is reported excellent, and the quantity ample. As mentioned earlier, the route from galley to serving line is long and exposed, causing difficulties during rough weather. Covers protect the food from contamination, but undesirable cooling and unavoidable spilling occurs occasionally on the two ladders leading into the mess hall. When food containers are emptied, the mess line service is interrupted until the food is replaced. However, the mess line delays caused by shortages of seats in the mess hall present a more frequent and serious problem. Complete messing of the crew, including early meals for watchstanders and duty personnel, requires one hour and 45 minutes per meal. These men occupy part of the mess hall's 50 seats, which accommodate simultaneously 19% of the crew, far below Buship's maximum standard of 33%. Usually, individual assistance in preliminary tray cleaning is required to save time in washing mess gear for reuse. This mess hall has about 12 square feet per man and therefore is above view ship's standard of 9 square feet, but the bunks and other miscellaneous ship's gear renders much of the nominal seating space objectionable. Moreover, the constant noise from the scullery and blowers combined with the frequent high temperatures in existence make eating conditions far from ideal. Operation of this scullery during the meal permits reuse of the mess gear, thereby saving valuable storage space. However, this means that subsequent personnel may receive very hot and damp mess gear, acceptable for hot dishes, but hardly suitable for ice cream and salads. The Softly's chief petty officer's mess room is considered superior for destroyer types. A major defect is the necessity for hanging clothes here due to lack of space elsewhere. The shortage of wardrobe space, previously noted, is obvious in this view of the starboard chief petty officer's bunk room. The wardroom seats 63% of the ship's total officer complement, with all messing being completed in an hour under normal conditions. Since this is the only space available to the officers other than their rooms, the wardroom must serve many purposes, messing, shipboard recreation, official entertainment, emergency surgical operations, movies, and courts martial, among others. Daily officer instruction periods, such as this tactical school, and frequent conferences utilize this space continuously. Moreover, the wardroom mess table must be pressed into use whenever large blueprints or other voluminous matter is handled. 